Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to our home. As you can see, this very large box next to me is about to be unboxed. Right here, we have the Speedience Gym Monster. If you're not familiar with this product, we're gonna have a bunch of videos, an entire series of reviews, updates, full workouts using the Speedience Gym Monster in this very small space within our home. And this here, if you're not familiar with it, in my opinion, is a very strong, if not a better alternative then the tonal, we have quite a few tonal videos, which are pretty polarizing. I have no doubt that the videos on the Speedings Gym Monster comparing it to the tonal and other fitness equipment devices will also be polarizing. But whatever you think, leave a comment below if you think this is a great substitute or you think the tonal is the king of smart trainers. Let me know in the comments. But let's get to the unboxing. My favorite part, spoiler on this, it comes fully assembled. So this here is the main gym monster. We also have a rower bench and an FID bench that we're gonna assemble separately, but there's no assembly necessary. So basically we're gonna take it out of the box, position it, and we're gonna give an overall first impressions, but the full review will come soon. So please subscribe and click the bell to get notified. So here we are opening the box. Right here you can see it's protected pretty well. So I'm pretty happy about that. As we take this out right here, we have the Speedings Gym Monster behind here. And usually they have the barbells and the other attachments on top. So this is probably packed just a little bit differently than the early models. As a matter of fact, there is the Gym Monster right there. And also this is the pad that has a really nice kind of cross right there to where you can position your feet. We're gonna go into that in the full review video. But here's the Gym Monster. We're gonna bring it out. Pretty simple. I think one of the art boxes probably have the barbell, the, the attachments, the ring, all that stuff. So let's uh, let's move it out and see what it looks like. So as we look, you can see off in the distance, the barbell, the attachments, the ring were behind it. So that's great. Uh, unless people open it up the opposite way, but I think they used to put the attachments, everything on the front right here, padded up and protected, but I like that design choice to put it behind the Gym Monster, especially with the screen. You don't want the barbell up here and God forbid, even with all the packing and everything, it hits the screen. Having it behind it is a, is a smart choice. I might remember that differently, but I, I think people have unboxed it. It was actually on top right here when you opened up the top of the box. So here's the Gym Monster. We start to power it up, do any firmware updates that are available for this, which I'm sure there are. Uh, they're always updating the software, it seems, very frequently. Uh, but right here, you can see, it doesn't have to be professionally installed. I can move it around, even on the carpet, it moves around pretty easy. So between here, say the studio, the garage gym, all three spots or anywhere in between, we can move this as long as we have a power outlet. It's not an off-grid solution, but, this is the Speedy and Shim Monster. We're very excited to be using it. Also testing out the rower bench and testing out the other accessories. But we're definitely gonna get started on this. We're gonna document each and every step of using this, long-term reviews, updated reviews like we have all the time here at Stevie Richards Fitness. Uh, please subscribe, click the bell to get notified. But so far I'm impressed at least with the way it's protected. The build quality looks really good, but we will cover it in the full review coming up very soon. Most importantly, and God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.